World War II is over. It's in our history books. But today is a time for remembrance, and we are honored to have the guests of that remarkable generation, that greatest generation who have turned bitter enemies into our lasting friends. Okinawa was the largest amphibious invasion and proved to be the bloodiest battle of the Pacific War. The invasion began on April 1, 1945, when 60,000 troops, two Marine and two Army divisions landed with little opposition. The day began and ended with the heaviest concentration of naval gunfire ever expended to support an amphibious landing. More ships were used, more troops put ashore, more supplies transported, more bombs dropped, more naval guns fired against shore targets than any other operation in the Pacific. 34 Allied ships have been sunk, mostly by kamikazes, 368 ships damaged, and 763 aircraft lost. Casualties told more than 38,000 Americans wounded and more than 12,000 killed or missing. Sixty-two years later, Battle of Okinawa veterans Don Danker and Bill Cooper returned to Okinawa for a ceremony on Tori Station honoring their fallen comrades, as well as recognition for their selfless service to the United States so many years ago. This is why we are here today, not to honor ourselves as survivors, but to honor and pay respect to our comrades in arms who were killed or wounded during the Battle of Okinawa. I was continually scared, I guess, and uh, I felt a certain amount of guilt after I got home that I made it. And a lot of my high school buddies were either killed on this island, one got the Congressional Medal of Honor, and a lot of them were killed in the Battle of the Belge or Iwo Jima. We just got out of high school in June of 43 and we went right into Europe or out here for the finishing up of the war. The place was totally wrecked. I mean, devastated from the battle. And uh, the main thing I just thought about, hey, about three things, was staying alive, doing what I was supposed to be doing, my duty, and getting home. <laughs> so uh, it uh, was a tough, Tough situation, but I survived, and unfortunately, a lot of fellas didn't. Quite a few of my friends, most of them became casualties, and uh, that was a sad situation. No, I just hope that you know my life hasn't been wasted because I lived and they didn't. I tried to you know be a good citizen. I found that avenue through uh, scouting, and just trying to put back something uh, more than I took out from my life. Because I think there's a lot of fine boys growing up now that I hope I had some influence on. As for today's honorees, our nation can never repay you for your sacrifice and the sacrifice of those that you served with. You each have given much and without asking for much in return. So today, here on Tory Station, we honor you and recognize your service. We thank you for your countless contributions to our army, our nation, and may each of you find peace in your season of life. You are indeed Army strong. God bless the United States and the United States Army. Thank you.